Greetings, this is Spec Ops 56 and John, and we're back again here at Beer Tasting Central for beer review number 21. And this one is going to be Atwater Brewery's Vanilla Java Porter. Now this is one that I expect I should like, and John maybe, maybe not, but we will see. Now, the Atwater Brewery is located in Detroit's historic Rivertown District and housed in a 1919 factory warehouse. Atwater Brewery was, found, Atwater Brewery was founded in March of 1997 with the purpose of carrying on the rich history of breweries in Detroit. I didn't know that Detroit had a rich history of breweries. I didn't know it has a history of other things, but not breweries. Our brewing process, however, is over 200 years old. Now a little bit about the beer. Now it gives a style history here. It says originally blended for the working class in central London. English style porters give nod to the masses, mixing traditional old style ales with more modern ales. While relatively dark, English-style porters eschew burnt flavors for more mellow profiles. Now, the description of this particular one is, with a beautifully crafted copper cord English-style porter at its heart, Atwater's Vanilla Java Porter tips its hat to the modern audience with the addition of vanilla and coffee that is locally brewed cold to eliminate burnt flavors. The beer, vanilla, and coffee tumble together, enhancing the smooth nature of each. Well, we'll find out just how smooth it is. <clears throat> Time to use the decapper. Getting better at that. And let's see. Oh, you got a nice dark. And about a finger's worth of a dark khaki or, um, got more in this one and since I like dark beers more than John does I'll take a little more in it okay we have nice dark now the uh, head is fading rather quickly. Yep, this is very dark brown. Really can't see any light through it. And uh, it's not really, can't really tell just how carbonated it is because it's so dark. So, come on over, John. Let's see what we can pick up on the nose. Mmm, roasted malt. Yes. Not really picking up vanilla. I did a little bit. Mm -hmm. You got a better nose than I do. A more sample of this. Yeah, let's taste it. Mmm. Smooth. Medium, oh yeah, medium carbonate. I got a kick of vanilla. Getting, getting roasty malts, getting a little coffee flavor, very hint of vanilla. It's got a very smooth mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. Very drinkable beer. Yeah, it is. It, none of the flavors are overwhelming. They're they all they all complement each other, and they, they all seem to seem to combine pretty smoothly. Yes, they do. This is this is not bad. It's a good one. 
Ted, you as a non-dark beer guy, is this, is this something that you would be tempted to pick up and drink again? Yes, I would. It's like yes, I said, it's, all the flavors kind of meld together. Yes, they do. Nothing's exactly. overpowering. I mean, you can, you can, you can detect so the individual flavors, the, the roasty malt, a little bit of coffee flavor, not much. Not as nearly as much as I would have expected based on the name. Um, and just the hint of the yeah. uh -huh. I think this one was very well done. So I, I can definitely give this one a thumbs up. I will also. So, yeah, you know it's a good dark beer when John gives it a thumbs up. It's got good, smooth, all-around flavor. Yeah. Nothing strong to jump out at you. It's all melded together. Yep. Pulling him into the dark side. <laughs> Slowly, Slowly but surely, <laughs> I'm bringing him over. <laughs> Keep these up and yeah. yeah. This, this, is, this is the Atwater Brewery. Vanilla Java Porter from Detroit, Detroit. Michigan. Motown. All right, well, you can go ahead and do your thing, John. And um, yeah, I think we probably made a lot of noise with this uh, Just a little microphone. Bit. We keep bumping that drawer, and I apologize for that. I'm going to have to find a better way to um, to get the microphone where it works, and we won't be doing that. Uh, yeah, that, that I seem to I seem to have more problems get, getting my audio right than anything else. So uh, bear with me, people. I, I I said in the very beginning when I first started making these kind of videos that I am not a professional. <laughs> so you get what you pay for. Okay. <laughs>